Hello, welcome and thank you for joining another episode on the Automoto YouTube channel. So this one I've been deliberating with for some time. So last September I went onto the Mali Rally and I just created too, way too much footage. Wasn't really that planned, but I've managed to put stuff all together um, and I'll bring the uh, Mali Rally 2020 out in a number of episodes. So this is episode one. Um, this was quite some time ago. Um, again, probably what, six, seven months ago now. Um, but with thoughts now coming towards 2021 Mali Rally, I thought it'd be really good to recap on what we've done. So really hope you enjoy it. number for you, Nils? Uh, my back number? Phone, phone number. Phone number. Good. Good. You probably want a medium. Welcome to the Great Mali Rally 2020. <laughs> We had to move all the bell tents one year because they were being bent inwards like hurricane winds. On the start point here, from, like rain. Yeah. This is a rather relaxing and nice day by comparison. 853. out the best shot for Cheddar Gorge. It's very difficult. My skills are limited in photography to make this place seem as epic as it is. sunny Somerset. thought they were good for cider but it looks like they do a bit of wine as well. Um, Pinot Noir. 
You'll be glad to know that the accommodation they've put on here is epic. I mean, some of these tents are fantastic. You know, five, six people in a tent. Easy. Nice and warm. Um, me and Ross are in this. <laughs> and Rob. Rob. <laughs> Hi, guys. Go on, Rob. Hi, guys. How are you getting on? I'm just building the first and second floors. Rob, um... Rob was a marine and doesn't look like he knows what he's doing with the tent. <laughs> so we are day what, two now of the Marley Ray. So day one, um, day zero and day one were just too hectic to do anything. So, um, so I thought this would be a f good first chance just to update you what's going on. So day zero, we went from my longest ever ride. So we did on the Sunday from London to Bournemouth to see my parents and then to the Marley Rally start point at the Lizard um, which was amazing. Um, the day one, yesterday we camped out and then day one uh, yesterday was all across uh, Dartmoor um, and back roads to uh, from Exeter through to Dunster Castle uh, which was beautiful. That road between um, Exeter and Dunster Castle which I'll show here uh, was incredible um, and then we did a last little trek through to uh, Cheddar Gorge on the checkpoint and then into this uh, vineyard which is incredible so don't be fooled those lovely canvas tents um, I'm not staying in I'm staying in my little um, my little blue but it is a three-man but it has been cold every night uh, I managed to stop yesterday and get a silk liner for my two-season sleeping bag um, and a beanie hat because my head was freezing. So, uh, but that seems to have been a bit better. It was a little bit chilly last night. With, I think we're gonna have, so this is day two on the Tuesday, we're gonna have good weather today um, and we're due to go to, to Snowdonia. Um, but then I think the weather turns a little bit. So it might not be as nice and easy as this start has been. Um, tip so far, if you're gonna think of doing the Marley Rally, um, pack light. Um, don't need as much as you think you need but do get um, the uh, sort of sleeping mattress and the sleeping bag right um, especially if you're staying in your own tent and getting a good routine in the mornings um, big tip is when you get in from a ride hit the shower straight away because um, they are then much cleaner and guaranteed hot water um, and then you're fresh for the evening so um, and then no rush in the morning for, for showers if you're only showering about once a day um, but the, the bike has been incredible so the previous to this, my longest ride was probably Bournemouth to um, London. So having passed, got my license three weeks ago. So yesterday was a really big learning around lots of twisties on Dartmoor Straits as well. It was epic scenery, um, but definitely feeling more at one with the bike in terms of into corners. Had a little bit of a wobble at a couple of stages, but that's probably a good thing uh, just to remind me where the line is for me um, at the minute. But very safe and sound uh, into uh, base camp one last night and then a bit better sleep uh, last night a bit warmer sleep last night um, yeah but it's quiet here it's nice this is this place is lovely there was a proper bar last night we had um, uh, ice cream last night and then each night the food has been incredible so so I'm going for a run Maybe I should be doing that. So, they, the Marley Rally provide uh, breakfast and uh, evening meal, and you get a takeaway bag lunch as well. So, you don't need to take any food, but do consider um, how you're going to take your packed lunch with you, because I didn't. So, I had to split it up and put it around my jacket, etc. So, that's just one thing to be aware of. I'm using in terms of working with the team we're coordinating sort of fill ups we fill up straight away um, and then we've all got about 100 to 125 miles um, of fuel and then we just stop around that sort of time um, I've carrying my one litre extra just a worst worst case scenario I need to get five miles some five to seven miles probably um, on that one litre but yeah so I will now start to get ready for the Snowdonia trip which I'm looking forward to the weather's meant to be epic I'm having problems with my drone um, which is an issue, so I'm going to try and fix that now. Oh, 
um, the rain hit pretty hard. Um, and I thought I feared for my life for a second. Um, and then almost lost the back end of the bike. 